Hey, what's going on? Yeah. That's not what you say when you say what's going on. What's going on? <laughs> all right, it's good to know that you're all retarded. That's awesome. Listen, listen. The other day in China, a lady had a child with three arms. Oh my God, they're always one step ahead of us. He's probably making shoes and toys right now as we speak. Meanwhile, American babies at home sucking on a tit sleeping. That's why we're losing. That's why we're losing. Oh man, I've been watching the soccer. The World Cup soccer, I love it. My favorite team got knocked out. Mexico, oh, why? Why, Mexico, why? I guess those guys will be back in LA anytime now. <laughs> I just wanna know how the Mexican team got to Europe. That's all I wanna know. <laughs> If they just showed up on the soccer field, mowed it, and then started to play. Why did we lose? Why did we lose? Because we had to weed eat the whole thing before we played. That's why we lost. We were tired. We were tired. Oh my God. Some lady, listen, listen. Some lady, <laughs> some lady in Tampa, in Florida the other day, got eaten by an alligator while running on a jogging trail. Oh my God. How ironic that a fat lady just started to go running the same day an alligator said, screw the swamp, I'm gonna try a jogging trail. I'm pretty sure it'll be easier. Oh, that joke usually gets some sort of laughter. Apparently you guys all knew that lady that got eaten by an alligator on a jogging trail. How dare you, that was my aunt, sister's brother's mother's dad. Oh, why do you bring it up? The pain, the pain. You guys all Mormons or something? What's going on in here for crap sex? I don't like this. Half the guys on this are looking at me like this, all right? This doesn't make me want to do comedy, all right? This is judging. Statue of Liberty would look like this. Nobody would have shown up in America for crap sex. What do you mean you're bringing your poor? I don't think so. Where's my torch? They want to build a fence on the, on the Mexican border. Hello, Latinos are Catholic. They have a lot of guilt. Don't build a fence. Put up statues every 150 feet looking at them like that. Where are you going? Oh, me, oh, my, oh. And then back home. Uh, that was good. That's right. That guy, said. that guy knew. He said, that is good. Check mark. <laughs> Are you Catholic, sir, or Latino? Which one? Both. Both, oh my God, double whammy. I am a Catholic and I love it because we have a new Pope. Holy crap, he is awesome. The last one was better. Yes, I'll say it. He was 1100 before he died. That was what I liked about him. He would not give up. By the end, his head was stuck to his shoulder like that, you know? They'd try to trick us. They'd put him in that bingo ball machine, drive him around, like that. He's okay, he's the Pope, he's fine. You can laugh at that, people. I'm Catholic. I know how it works. You laugh, you say you're sorry, everything's okay. Oh, jeez. Uh, I went to a, listen, listen. I went to a sex shop the other day. I went to a sex shop. This is for you, fellas. Uh, I went to a sex shop the other day. The other guy, listen, listen. You got, they got this new thing there you can get. You mold your penis, right? You mold your penis, and then you pour this rubber into it. Hello, you've got a replica of your penis. Sounds fantastic till you actually see what five and a half inches looks like. Uh, uh. Never again will I say, take it, take it. Now it's more like, I apologize. I have another one in the closet that looks exactly like it. If you want to put the two together, we can maybe get some girth going. I always see weird sexual things. I seen, I seen this, listen, I seen this the other day. I seen a purple dildo lying in the middle of the street. Holy crap, so many questions went through my head. How did it get there? What happened? Was somebody just driving down the street? You'll never please again. Whipped it out the window. Was there a car accident and somebody thought they had one of those big pens with all the inks in it? Sure, I'll get your information. I'll just go, oh, it's my dildo. I picked it up, CSI is picking it up tomorrow. We're gonna get it back to its rightful owner. Uh, I'm 
I'm sorry I said retard earlier. That probably offended somebody. Somebody's probably got a mom or dad that's retarded, and now they're all fired up. Just because my dad was killed by a squirrel in a peanut butter factory doesn't mean he had to bring it up. And I do believe he was pushed. Uh, that's how you end up in a peanut butter machine. You don't just fall in. Hey, you just didn't look at him. Okay. So, you shouldn't say that word. That's a terrible word, that retard word. Yeah, yeah. I dated a girl for two years, and her brother was retarded. Yeah, and she, she forbid me from saying that word for two years. Then she dumped me, and I just looked at her and I said, you and a retarded brother can fuck off. Huh? Yeah. And then I started to cry, because I knew I was going to miss that kid. I loved him. Oh, we had so much fun. Riding the bus, looking out the window, eating candy. Strong as a chimpanzee, I too. And let me tell you, when he did not want to get off the bus, he did not want to get off the bus. You sure you're not Mormons? You've got that feel to you. Some of you are like totally, oh, we should be on a mission. We don't have time to be here. Get my bike! That's the Mormons right there, riding their bikes from house to house, dressed like they're in the FBI. Very tricky. Mom, the government's here, and apparently they're broke. That's who we should have sent to Iraq right there. The Mormons! They would have never seen that coming. Bikes and suits flying across the sand dunes. We just want to talk to you. We just want to... Ah! That is the bike getting caught in the sand. When you're on the sand, you hold it. Oh, man. Mormons wouldn't have given up either. They would have kept on knocking. Knock, knock, knock. Knock, knock, knock. Ringing the doorbell. That's right. That is an Iraqi doorbell right there. Not many people know, but I bring, I bring knowledge. Anybody wearing the yellow wristband of Save the Balls? That's right. The yellow wristband means save the balls. In 1969, Lance Armstrong landed on the moon and he only had one ball, and that's why he could jump so high. And today, to symbolize that, we wear a yellow wristband to the moon. That was hilarious, people. How could you not laugh at that? They're all looking at me like I fell into a peanut butter jar. Or like that. I thought of what happened. Oh. <laughs> I know who Lance Armstrong is. It was just a little joke, okay? But you guys didn't laugh. No, no, Lance Armstrong's a hero. He's a hero. Don't mock him. You're probably the same people that think he was on steroids, for crap's sakes. Everybody, he's on steroids. That's why he won seven Tour de France. I'll tell you why he won seven Tour de France. He's got one ball. He's more aerodynamic. He just puts it on the bar and goes for it. Everybody else has got mud flaps. Sure, it sounds cool, but it's gonna slow you down the mountains. Flip a flop a flip a flop a flip a. Meanwhile, here comes Fancy Pants One Ball. Zig, 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 zig. 